Disease X. Critics say Biden admin selling out U.S. sovereignty with World Health Organization treaty. And that's exactly what it is. You know, I talked about this months ago when we first heard about this so-called disease X and how they want to, um, the World Health Organization want to have control over countries, get rid of your sovereignty. I said it would be a disaster. It would be the end of America if we sign on to this treaty. And then um, it was so much pushback that the World Health Organization came out and was like, well, no, it, we're, it's not, we're not really going to take control. It's really just suggestions. We'll be giving suggestions. But that's not, then why then why sign a treaty then if it's just suggestions they they know what it is it's a power grab it's about it's a way to control us imagine imagine how how really bad the um covid uh, pandemic would have been if the world health organization had this treaty in place what do you how long do you think the lockdowns would have would have lasted what about what do you, you think they would have had mandatory jabs you know I, it, this is un- incredible I don't think this will pass Congress. I don't think this will pass. Um, but, you know, uh, Joe Biden is definitely, definitely on board with taking away our sovereignty. So I'm going to talk a little bit about this. But before we get started, go ahead and hit that like button. Share this out so we can get this information out there. Subscribe if you're not already a subscriber. And hit that alarm bell so you know when I'm putting out new stuff. Also, check out my link tree in the description. It has a link to my Patreon. That's where I talk about things I can't talk about here. There's also a link to my Instagram and my merch store. Also check out jjthepsychotherapist.com for news as well. All right, let's talk about this news. Now this comes from Fox News' uh, Michael Dorgan. And um, I'm going I'm to read what he reported in a second, right after I play this clip here from uh, uh, World Health Organization Director General Tedros uh, Ghebreyesus. I cannot pronounce his name, but... He's a ex. He's a terrorist. Not, are you really an ex terrorist? This guy used to be a terrorist in Africa, I believe it was, and now he's the head of the World Health Organization, which is just weird to me. Um, but let's 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 listen to what he has to say. How he's selling us, um, uh, selling the world to give up their sovereignty for the World Health Organization to control them. Here we go. The painful lessons we learn are in danger of being forgotten as attention turns to many other crises confronting our world. But if we fail to learn those lessons, we will pay dearly next time. What do you mean, like mandatory lockdowns? there will be a next time. History teaches us that the next pandemic is a matter of when, not if. It may be caused by an influenza virus or a new coronavirus, or it may be caused by a new pathogen we don't even know about yet, or what we call disease X. There has been a lot of attention on disease X, especially recently. But in fact, it's not a new thing. We first used the term disease X in 2018. It was just the same time I spoke here in this government site uh, summit in 2018. And we used disease X as a placeholder for a disease we don't even know about yet. Or the a disease that we're working we on. We can nonetheless <laughs> prepare. COVID-19 was a disease X, a new pathogen causing a new disease. But there will be another disease X, or a disease Y, or a disease Z. And as things stand, the world remains unprepared for the next disease X and the next pandemic. So here they go, here they go. Selling, trying to sell us on this crap. Um, we want no part of this. We want no part of, uh, of 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 giving up our sovereignty to the World Health Organization. But the article says that the Biden administration is negotiating a controversial global pandemic treaty with the World Health Organization. That a uh, health agency uh, that the health agency says will help the world prepare for the next pandemic and the potential outbreak of disease X. But critics say the agreement will end up 
stifling free speech and cede American sovereignty to the global body. And that's exactly what will happen. If you think censorship is bad now, imagine if the World Health Organization is control of what is um, what it, what is uh, truth and what is what is misinformation. But the World Health Organization has been sounding the alarm for months that a, a May deadline for having the, the uh, text of the treaty agreed upon is fast approaching and accord it says is necessary to quote bolster the world's collective preparedness and response to future pandemics. The health agency wants to ratify the treaty at the World Health Assembly at its May 2024 annual General Assembly. Last week, dozens of former heads of state, including former UK Prime Minister Tony Blair and Gordon Brown, as well as former UN Secretary uh, Ban Ki Moon, penned a joint letter urging quote accelerated progress in current negotiations while world health organ uh, um, world health organization director tedros has uh been warning that an agreement is needed for quote when not if disease x strikes disease x is a hypothetical placeholder virus that has not yet been formed but scientists say it could be 20 times deadlier than covid 19. there they go fear margaret but critics like myself are casting doubt on the unelected agency's need for such an agreement that would demand the U.S. share its public health data with the agency and more than 190 uh, countries and follow World Health Organization rules on how to prepare and react to the pandemic. Again, getting rid of our sovereignty. So the U.S. will have no say in what we do in the next pandemic. We will have to listen to the World Health Organization, who has been wrong so many times when it comes to uh, when it came to the last pandemic we know i can't talk about all the things you know not on this platform that they were wrong about but we know that the world health organization was wrong more times than right when it came to the last pandemic so why would we seize our sovereignty to them for the next one but the treaty critics say would allow the world health organization to dictate global public health policy for instance the world sh quote shall appears through, throughout the draft document, which would be legally binding under the agreement. Shall. Shall, they put in, in terms. Opponents also say that a public health emergency is not clearly defined and would be extended to include climate, reproductive health, or immigration emergencies. So it's broad. They can, they can classify anything for that. And we all know the global warming hoax, how they use that for their, um, um, for their power grab and their control. Uh, and that's what they would do. Oh, we need to uh, lock you down. You need to stay home uh, for the climate. That We can see them saying that. Um, Rep. Brad Winstrup of Ohio, Republican from Ohio, who chairs the House Oversight and Accountability Select Committee on the Coronavirus Pandemic, says that sovereignty and intellectual property rights of Americans are threatened by the global accord. I agree. Quote, the Biden administration must ensure that the final draft does not violate American sovereignty or infringe upon the rights of the American people, Winstrup told Fox News Digital. Without being uh, presented to Congress for approval, any pandemic treaty is wholly insufficient. So we don't have to, if, if, if two thirds of Congress don't approve it, then we don't have to abide by it. I don't care what Biden says or signs. But under the Constitution, the U.S. can only enter a treaty if the president submits the accord to the Senate and it is approved by two thirds majority. So it has to go to the Senate. I said the House. My apologies. Um, Advancing American Freedom, or AAF, a nonprofit advocacy group founded by former Vice President Mike Pence, says that the treaty undermines U.S. sovereignty and insists it would leave the U.S. worse off for a future pandemic. Quote, the United States should withdraw from the World Health Organization, John Shelton, the policy director at AAF, tells Fox News Digital. I agree. Quote, instead, the Biden administration continues to negotiate a fundamentally flawed draft that sells out American interests. No treaty should be considered without a change in the World Health Organization leadership and accountability for the Chinese Communist Party, including its role in the COVID-19 pandemic. The World Health Organization remains a geopolitical compromise institution paid for by American tax dollars, Sheldon, um, Shelton said, and I 1000% agree with that sentiment. The World Health Organization faced strong criticism from around the world over its slow response to investigating China for the COVID outbreak. Of course, because China really are the people, ones that's running the World Health Organization. 
A World Health Organization team investigating the origins of the coronavirus pandemic also downplayed the possibility that the virus leaked from a lab near Wuhan, China. Again, I said the World Health Organization was wrong on everything uh, per pertaining to the last pandemic, including the, um, the origins of it. But a State Department spokesperson tells Fox News Digital that the U.S. government will oppose any agreement that would undermine U.S. sovereignty, security, and economic competitiveness, and the right of Americans of Americans to make their own health uh, care decisions. Ambassador Pamela Homato is representing the U.S. in discussions with more than 190 nations. Biden will sell us out to the highest bidder. We see it time and time again. But, quote, the Biden-Harris administration's most fundamental responsibility is to protect the American people. Uh, to do that, we must protect the U.S. against the next pandemic by working with other countries to help detect threats as soon as they emerge, contain those threats and their source, and respond quickly to save lives, a State Department spokesperson said. Detecting infectious disease threats quickly and sharing that information widely is critical to limit global transition and rapidly develop necessary diagnostic vaccines and other countermeasures to mitigate adverse health effects. You can already do that. You don't need a treaty to do that. Why, so why do we, what is the treaty for? What is the real reason we have to, we have to sign on to this treaty that takes away our sovereignty? If you can, we can already share some information. We can already contact these these countries when these things are happening. We don't need it in writing. But in their letter last week, the former leaders blasted those raising sovereignty concerns and warned that, quote, no one is safe anywhere until everyone is safe everywhere. What? <laughs> what? Quote, among the falsehoods circulating are allegations that the World Health Organization intends to monitor people's movements through digital passports. Okay, but that's a fact. They're already doing it in Australia, according to what the World Health Organization has been suggesting. So that's a that's a lie right there. That's not a falsehood. They are actually they want digital passports. Um, a matter of fact, I might even do a video on the Australians uh, digital passports. But that it um, that it will take away the national sovereignty of countries. Again, it will. <laughs> it's in writing. It says shall how many times and that it will have the ability to deploy armed troops to enforce mandatory vaccines and lockdowns. The letter uh, reads all these claims are whole, wholly false and governments must work to disavow them with clear facts. Yeah, right. That is it's all that's all true. That's exactly what um, the, the um, thing said. I went over the uh, pandemic treaty in a previous video. I went over it in detail, and it, it basically get rid of all countries' sovereignty. But Tedros has also pinned these concerns in the past, in the past as quote fake news, lies, and conspiracy theories. Nevertheless, last year the World Health Organization and the European Commission announced the rollout of a digital COVID nineteen certification system, which is effectively a digital vaccine passport system. So they do these things, and then they pretend like they're not doing it like we don't have the receipts. Meanwhile, freedom of speech concerns have also been raised by the ADF International uh, um, uh, Faith-Based Legal Advocacy Organization. The group says that the current draft will obligate the U.S. and other signees to prevent, quote, misinformation and disinformation under Article 18 of the draft. Again, like I said, if y'all think censorship is bad now, Imagine when world, the World Health Organization gets control over what is misinformation and what is true. Quote, the revised negotiating text for the World Health Organization pandemic agreement continues to misrepresent the human right to freedom of expression as a threat to public health, said uh, G Giorgio uh, Mazzoli, the director of UN advocacy with, the ADF, with ADF International. Quote, everyone agrees that um, life is precious and that and that states have an interest in protecting public health. But some of the most grave and systematic human rights abuses of the last century unfolded during public emergencies. And we must be vigilant to protect hard won rights, especially in times of crisis, Mazzoli said. Amen to that. Quote, when it comes to vague and undefined concepts such as misinformation or disinformation, the currently proposed cure is far worse than the disease. 
The State Department, however, says that any agreement would have to guarantee American rights to freedom of speech. But it, the, as is worded now, it does not do that, though. Negotiations on the latest draft are expected to wrap up later this week, and I'll cover it um, once they come out with the new draft. But let me know what you think about this. Do you think this is a play um, by the World Health Organization to take on so um, country sovereignty, or do you really think they have people's best interests at heart? <laughs> Leave your comments down below. Like, share, subscribe, and check out JJTheCycloTherapist.com for the latest in news. Until next time, peace.